guys, how's it going? It's Fanimir, and today I'm going to be comparing two fairly new games, one of them Slither.io, one of them Agar.io, which are fairly new. Agar.io has been around for quite an actual long time, less than a year, but Slither.io has been out fairly recently and has just caught popularity from a lot of YouTubers who have been uploading it. So it has been called by many big YouTubers, the new Agario, s stuff like that. And I've seen a lot of channels that were mainly Agario just start uploading this and that's it. So I am here to show you guys the pros and cons of both the games so you can decide which one you like more and which one you keep wanting to play. So there are a couple pros to Agario. So the first pro is there are different game modes, such as free for all, party, experimental, and teams. Now also in Agario, there's a teaming so you can team with other players trick split split run do a lot of different things so you can actually do and interact the game with your friends now there are also things called viruses and mother cells which mother cells shoot out little pellets which you eat mainly but they actually shoot it out right for you so you can eat them there and then the viruses can be used to split others or gain mass if you're not in free for all so in parties it's awesome because you can play games with your friends obviously that's fun so it's another way that you can talk to your friends and play games with your friends. They also have trick splitting, which is where you split a bunch of times in the front of someone else and then split, which is a very useful strategy to use and a fun thing to do. Now the final pro about Agario is they have skins so that you can look different, you don't look the same as everyone else, so you can be recognized in all the stuff that you want. You don't want to be the exact same as everyone else, so you can have skins. So now the cons of Agario are that Agario has become pretty laggy lately because people are using bots which is another con and that makes everyone in the entire server pretty much lagging it's no fun to play when you're lagging so another con is that they're actually teamers which was a pro but it's also a con because people can just take over the entire server and you can have no chance against them if they are a really good team so they kind of just dominate and you can't do anything the final con of Garo is anti-teaming, what they have in free-for-all, so if you just find a random person you want to team with them in free-for-all, it's almost impossible because you have to, if you get split a certain amount of times by people splitting you, you start losing mass very fast, or if you eat a lot of viruses to get more mass, you start losing mass very fast. Now let's go into the Slither.io pros. So the one pro in Slither.io is there is no lag and no bots, which is a huge thing because it completely decreases the lag compared to Agario, which actually had a lot of lag and bots. So in Slither.io, it's actually a lot easier to get first because you can actually beat the biggest guy on the server without even really doing anything going in front of him. Even if you're tiny, you can almost beat him. So another thing I also like is how you can boost. In the boost, you move around faster, you lose mass too, but you move around faster. Now another thing that's good is the skins, which similar to Agario makes you look different than other players, and is a very useful feature to help tell different people from each other. Now the final pro of Slither.io is there's no anti-teaming, because you can't really team in it. So the cons in Slither.io, it is easy to lose in Slither.io, because the smallest person can come in front of you, even if you're number one, and pretty much make you get destroyed so that's not a good thing so another con of slither.io is there's only one game mode which means you can't switch parties and stuff like that so there's only one game mode now the final con is there's a slight delay when moving your cursor you move your cursor and then it turns which doesn't it's not really lagging but it's such as playing on a server in Agario that is not in a region of your country and you have a slight a little bit longer delay than normal when you move your cursor so the final con of slither.io is there's no teaming in it and there's no party so you can't find your friends even if you want to play together not team so overall they are fairly similar games one of them are a snake or worm and in the other one you're a cell so they're pretty similar but they also have a lot of differences so now you can decide which one is actually your favorite is it really the new agario or is it a different game that's similar to agario so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please like comment subscribe Tell me what you guys thought about the video, and as always, share this video if it helped you, and if you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.